Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. Today I'm going to show you how to lower your CPU temperature without losing any performance. But to do this, first we need to activate an option in Power Options. First I'll show you the def default options in Power Options and we're going to activate the missing option. Uh, my computer is Asus, Asus Tough A15 Gaming, the latest model with RTX 3060 with Ryzen 7, the latest CPU. Uh, this computer is on turbo mode to get the highest performance possible. Uh, let me show you the default power settings first. We have turbo boost enabled and these are our default settings but we need to activate one more setting here. I mean in power management, processor power management, we need to activate one more missing setting. To do this, first we need to type REC and open the registry editor. Then we need to follow these steps. First, HK local machine system control, current control set, control. We need to find power. Then power settings. We need to find the one starting with 545, then we need to find this one 75B0, B but there are two with the same name, but we need to find the first one ending with 0. Then we need to change the attributes here from 1 to 2. Then we should press OK. Then when we check the settings here, we're going to see this option is visible. Maximum processor frequency. Before changing any settings, let's first test the current or default temperatures of this system. And for this I will be testing Need for Speed Heat game uh, because I experienced very high temperatures with this computer. I mean 95 degrees. It is not good. Uh, the game is being opened. The computer is uh, on turbo mode. And the game has started. As you can see, the temps are increasing. Press the C key for accessibility options. Yeah. Just check the temps. It's over 90 degrees. Even not in the game. We're just in the main menu. Yeah, let's check the settings. Graphic settings, full screen, 1080p resolution, vertical synchronization as off HDR auto and settings are ultra the highest possible settings we are on 90 degrees let's enter the game oh, can you see the temps 94 95 this is the highest possible 
temp of the CPU, but it's not healthy. Now we're gonna okay, be checking in-game temperatures, the one and then we're gonna so take compare Let's just get the modded and default settings in terms of temps and FPS. As you can see, we're on 90 degrees right now, and our FPS is 97, 98. Let's, yeah, 91, 92, it's increasing. And eventually, it will reach to the maximum level of 91. What are we gonna do? We're gonna enter our power settings in control panel, power options, change plan settings, change advanced power settings, power management. Ah. I'm typing here in maximum processor frequency. That's some value I found to be very effective in terms of performance and temps. I'm changing it to 4250 or 4200. Then click apply. Then let's go back to the game. Do you remember our FPS? It was 97, 98, but our temps were you get over, to over that 90. Race it starts. Now you have a look at this. We're on 81 degrees and our FPS is 95. 94, 96, we saw it. So, let's play the game. Let's see the max temp of this computer, this CPU, with the settings. 82. By the way, the game is not well optimized, uh, as you can see from the GPU voltage it's fluctuating I mean it's not well optimized we're on 83 degrees and our FPS is stable the game is battery smooth and my fans are spinning Quieter. Yeah. In these scenes, the temp may jump to higher levels, but it's not hey, gonna last Dex, too long. Hey, be gentle with my friend here. They're breaking in a new car. If it's one of yours, it's half broke yeah. already. The temps are very healthy right now. Let's drive a bit, then change back to the detail settings talk to, to see the Good luck. if there is any difference. Confirm yeah, at 60 degrees. By the way, do not forget that I'm recording at the same time and it's consuming some CPU power, so you will get more FPS without recording. Uh, 82 degrees. We're over 60 FPS. Like I said, the, the game is not optimized, well optimized. They're not getting full power of GPU, I don't know the reason, but I tested this mod in different games and the results are insane. I'll show you the Witcher 3 too. Yeah, let's go back to the default settings. To revert to default settings, we're typing 0 here and Push apply. Then, you can, make it up. can you see temps are jumping immediately? And we're at 90 degrees and FPS are the same. Not much difference. Yeah, let's stop somewhere. Let's stop here. 
compared with FPS and temps. 75, 74 FPS. I'm typing 4200 here. And FPS is the same, but temps are much better. And I don't know if you can hear if temps, they're quieter. They're very quiet. You don't have to wear headphones. Okay, I guess that's enough for this game. Let's turn back to our default settings. I typed zero here again. And let's play Witcher 3. First with default settings, then my settings. Let's compare the performance difference and temperature difference between those settings. Yeah. First I need to show you the settings. Video, display, full screen, 1080p, frame generation on, graphics or RTX Ultra, ray tracing on, quality, everything is on, DLSS quality, Sharpening high, motion blur off, and all other settings are ultra plus. This so, bard's tale begins near White Orchard. If my dear what about Geralt the in game temperatures? Lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. By the way, this he game is for years, but now seems more just a few optimized steps than Need for Speed, um, we can be using. Full power of GP. Yeah. Let's see what's happening. Yep. Yep. Let's go to some more complex places. Let's fight with some wolves, some animals. As you can see, the game is optimized. We're using almost full power of the GPU. And the temps are high. Not high at all, but it is a bit high. Yeah, let's, let's fight them. It's 84 degrees right now. That stops somewhere here it's 85 fps 85 86 fps and it is 84 degrees right now come on we're testing here what do you want yeah we're 84 degrees and we're at 87 fps let's try the mod here the fps is still the same now we're below 80 degrees 78 77 it's decreasing and my fans start to spin quieter I don't know if we're gonna be seeing over 80 degrees I don't know and we didn't lose a single FPS because this CPU is very powerful
Yeah. Nope. It's not jumping. I mean, the temp's not jumping. It's 77 or 78 at most. 79, but not even close to 80 degrees. So what about... What about the temps and FPS? Again, in the field mode. Yep. Same FPS, but very, very high temps. 85, 84 degrees. And 86, uh, I experienced camps close to 90 while playing for a longer time period. But here, let's test it again. As you can see, the same FPS. But significantly lower temps and significantly lower fan noise. That's incredible. You gotta try it. Let's close this game. Uh, by the way, if you're wondering. If you can apply the same setting with your CPU, with your different CPU, uh, you can just check the maximum frequency of your uh, CPU, then set it according to this. Please do not forget to subscribe for more videos. If you like my video, it will be appreciated. If you have any questions, please do not forget to write any comments or do not hesitate to ask. Thank you.